Welcome back guys, we're back again with another Minecraft tutorial and this time we're going to be going over how to install the Essentials plugin to your server. Now before we get into this video I just want to explain I'm not going to be going through every single command as you're going to see quite shortly or if you've used it before. There are many many commands, um, hundreds I believe, and we don't have all day to be going through them. However, we're going to be going through the most specific to help you with your server as it does offer a wide variety of features here. Anything from warps so players can teleport around, home, silly stuff like kitty cat and then tp to players and so much more but we'll go through all of that in a minute so with that let's get stuck into the video So first things first, you're going to need yourself a server. If you haven't got one already, head over to seekerhost.co. I'll have the address popping up on the bottom of the screen right now, and you can get yourself a super affordable server, anything from a small server for your friends and family to a large custom server with hundreds of players, lots of plugins and mods. Once you have got your server, of course, make sure to log into your Multicraft control panel. What we're going to be doing here is just checking a few bits before we do it. First of all, what is your server jar? And here I would suggest paper. It's only because it, owned, it works with both Bucket and Spigot really well. Essentials X is native to spigot and as you can see there it's um it will work or it's been tested on minecraft versions all the way through 1.8 to 1.16 and it still works really well so make sure that your jar is compatible it would be hard not to to be honest it does cover most versions however just make sure it's compatible i'm going to stick to paper 116.5 which is the current um, latest version so let's go ahead to the essential x site and download this plugin i'll leave all the links in the description so you can just simply click on there and go ahead and download it so click this blue button right here and it will start downloading on the top right your screen and once downloaded you're going to be able to open up the file now this is a zipped folder because essentials actually has quite a few different essential plugins within it of course you have the original essentials jar right here you have anti-build chat um, GIP, protect, spawn, etc. Um, what we're going to be doing for this tutorial is we're just going to be using the Essentials X on its own just to go through the main commands that it has for your server. Of course, you can install these in exactly the same way, um, but we're just going to be installing one of them. So I've added the folder to my desktop. Now we want to actually um, open up the files and extract it. So I'm just going to go to 7-zip and I'm just going to go to extract here. As you can see, we now have all of our jars. And of course, you don't have to do this on your desktop. You can do this wherever you can create a folder or an Essentials folder and extract them into there you no longer need the zipped file because you've already unzipped them um, and for you depending on how many of these um, essential plugins you want to add in or add-ons keep them i'm just going to delete them all apart from the main essentials x right here so now we've got our essentials x um, if you want to move it to a folder just for ease of access do that now however we're going to head back to our multi-craft control panel once back on here of course make sure your server is stopped again we're going to go over to files and then ftp file access if you prefer using filezilla of course use the normal method that you would normally use by opening up filezilla connecting to your server and then dragging and dropping the correct plugins into the plugins folder on the right hand side however we're going to, we're going to be using seekhost's uh, neat FTP file access over here and we're going to be going to plugins and we're going to be going to upload as you can see we have a few plugins already essentials is great for working with other plugins I have yet to find one that it really doesn't work with um, and I've tried many many in my uh, sort of tutorial times and I've still yet to find one that really doesn't work with essentials so if you find the folder of where you exported it and you've got your essentials file or files if you're going to be doing more and we're going to click that and upload of course if you are going to be doing multiple because you might want to add essentials chat and stuff like that just keep choosing file and add them on and then hit submit once you've got them all ready once all done we can now come back to our main page and actually start our server and, and as easy as that we've now installed essentials and we're just going to look through some of the files and see what you can change on here so with that all done server is all up we can go to files and then config files and you can see we now have a few more yml's we have a custom item yml upgrades tpr worth kits and config now if we just head over to config first and i do recommend that you do it is a bit of a long one but i do recommend just uh, giving 20 minutes of your time especially if you're going to be uh, starting up a server where you want everything to be exactly as you need it um, and just going through all this you can change almost every property on the server through here even little things like the delays and seconds between teleporting going home commands that players are allowed to do or not mute commands it's got its own um, built-in permission system in case you aren't using a permission plugin you got sign shops sign commands and the list just goes on so we're not going to go through this um so much because there, there is just so much to go through here however i do just uh, recommend just going through this and just making sure that it's actually sort of personally set up for you of course this is a default what it comes with so they're going to go for a default version that everybody would be um sort of happy with however if you want to personalize it just go through here change it all over once you're all done and press save and then we're just going to look at a few more files here before we actually get into the commands and it's going to be worth worth uh, because essentials come with 
with a really good currency system. Of course, you will still usually need Vault as well to make it work. However, as you can see here, it's the worth of all the items. Um, you can go through all of these, change all the worth, or you can do it manually in game. Most of these commands that you can do or change are also doable in game, and we'll show that in a minute how you can just set worth just by holding it in your hand and just putting a price on there. However, if you did want to do it manually, just go through here, change the prices. As you can see, this is $22. If you wanted to do it $22.50, we're just going to pop a five on there and then hit save. You have a variety of kits on Essentials, and these are the kits that are going to come pre programmed already. You got kits, you got the delay in how long it's going to take between um, taking one kit and then being able to redo the command for another. We've got all the items here from uh, you know, diamond pickaxe with efficiency. You can also add enchants and stuff like that. And you've even got a little firework kit there. It does come with some pre programmed kits for you. Of course, if you do want to change any of this, just make sure you hit save afterwards. We've got our TPR as well, and this is going to help you with excluded biomes um, in case you don't want people spawning in there. As you can see here, it does recommend a few plugins, which is Lucky Perms. And if you're not sure how to install that, you can follow our video just to show you how to install the Lucky Perms, add permissions and stuff like that. And of course, Vault. As we can see here, it actually does work on Craft Bucket as well as Spigot and Paper, which is recommended, like I was saying, a little bit earlier. And it supports over 130 commands here. And um, if you visited the wiki, it's actually extremely helpful you can find all of the commands the permissions page is excellent um, I'll leave a link in the description for it it has every um, command that you're going to need from your balance AFK players um, whether you want to pay sell to the server set home you've even got jails you can do skull so you can collect the player's head speed TPA TPR sign shops and so much more I'm not going to go too much into permissions but of course having this list here is extremely handy for when you want to give permissions out to players you can simply click this as you can see in the bottom right corner it's copied to clipboard you can now go over to whatever permissions plugin you're using and just add that permission to the certain group so with that let's actually get into some gameplay and see what commands we can do in game so now let's actually connect to the server and go through some of the commands of course like i said earlier there are so many commands on here we're not going to be able to go through all of them but we are going to go through the main server commands that are going to help you out uh, with actually running your server now as i'm setting it today i just want to point out you can see extra commands just as i'm doing them they've also changed the ease of use so as you're typing them out they'll actually be much easier to use for example if i want to go to a uh, game mode survival if you want to go through some of the essential commands you can do a help essentials and as you can see here we've got lots and lots of different commands anything from backing up you can actually do a backup from the server from in game although i don't really recommend it you can check your balance top balance because it's going to add players into the economy system especially if you've got vault you can of course do the ban ban ip um from inside you can do a bazooka let's do one i've not done one before it seems fun Okay, so the bazooka is quite interesting. But anyway, enough of the messing around, let's get down to some actual commands here. So as I was saying earlier, you can set the worth of items. You have a clear currency where you can buy and sell. Um, for instance, if I want to check my, my balance, I'm going to do a forward slash balance or balance top if I wanted to check the top balance. I, of course, have zero dollars. You've got a selling and buying system. So if I do sell and I do um, hand after that, it's going to sell what I have in my hand. However, if it says this item cannot be sold because the worth hasn't been set, we can do a set worth. We can then add, uh, let's say, 20. So we're going to make it worth 20. And we've now set the worth or the value set. If we now go to sell hand, you can see that we've now got $20. If we want to pay somebody money and somebody else is on the server, of course, it's only me on the server. I'm not sure if I can pay myself, but I'm going to try anyway. Let's pay myself $20. And as you can see there, it's been sent and I've received $20. So you can do that with other players. Of course, don't forget to actually do this. You're going to need a permission system. So follow our other video with Lucky Perms and you're going to be able to get people using the commands easily and in the correct groups. We're not going to be going through the uh, commands such as burn, cartography table, stuff like that, clear inventory. Although they've made it easier, it's not going to be... Um, something too major to go on about the server these little things that you're going to be able to find out once you've installed it and that brings us nicely on to the create kit so if i want to create a kit right here what i can actually do is i can go and i can put some stuff in my inventory let's put um three things for example let's put a little sword in here as well and we're going to go in and type create you're going to see we have a few things that we can actually create here we can create home create jail create kit create warp etc let's go to create kit and let's press enter as you can see what we're going to need is we're going to need a kit name and a delay so if we now do create kit we're going to do starter. I'm going to do 600. So let's press enter there. And we can now see that we've created a kit called starter with three entries and a delay of 600. If you do kits and press enter, it's going to tell you what you got right there. So you got tools, D tools, notch, color, firework, and starter. So if I now do forward slash and then kit, then I do starter. 
I'm going to be given all of my items. So I've now got duplicate of everything. If I try and do it again, it's going to tell me I can't because I've still got 9 minutes and 53 seconds. By the way, I forgot to mention 600 is 600 seconds. So that's how you can really easily create a kit so people can come in and they can't overuse it as well. So they're now going to have to wait a certain amount of time. Of course, if you want to do it once a day, just figure out or Google the amount of seconds between 24 hours and they'll only get it once a day. So now to the warps and you might have towns in your island that you might want people to be able to travel to much faster than just having to run there. You can do this by doing a set warp and then naming it. So let's do a warp one. So this is just as an example. And we're going to press enter. Now, if I just run a little distance over here and I'm looking over there where I want to go and I do warps, first of all, it's going to tell me what warps I have. If I actually type in warps, it's going to say warp one. And if I actually want to go to it, I can do warp and then warp one. So press that and I've now come back. Now, this does actually have another extension, which I'm going to be doing another video about very shortly. So make sure to check that one out about how to use the warps GUI. What the GUI will do is when you type in warps like this it'll come up with a nice menu in the middle with some nice selections you can choose that and then get teleported but that's for another video you can create as many warps as you want if i want to do a warp 2 do that right here it's going to set warp 2 now if i go to warps you're going to see that we have two warps right there now one of the reasons that i really like this plugin and i use it in pretty much every server that i have is just the ability to not have to use many other plugins so we have our warps and then what we're going to do next is we're going to do our set home we're going to be able to do TPAs and all that stuff all in game with one plugin. So let's just go to set home if we want to actually set our home right here. So we're going to do set home. It's now set to our current location. If I move back a little bit, do forward slash in home. It's going to take me back to my home. Have a problem with people breaking rules on your server? No problem. Make a jail. Come into here. Do a forward slash and then do set jail. So we do a set jail. Let's call this jail one, for instance. And we've now got jail one set. Now let's say someone's breaking the rules and you want to jail them. You're going to simply do a forward slash jail and then their name. I'm not going to jail myself because then I'm going to be stuck there. However, you get how this works. Also on a separate point, if you need to unjail somebody because they will keep getting TP'd back to that particular spot, do unjail followed by their name. We can go ahead and set the idle timeout here. So let's just set this to 30 and this is going to be done in minutes. So um, it's not going to be seconds, it's going to be minutes. So as you can see here, player timeout has now been set to 30 minutes. You can set the TPR range. So if we click on TPR right here, we can set the center, the max range or the min range. So if we want to set the max range, we can just come over here and do 100, which will make the TPR of a max range of 100 blocks. So of course goes to your minimum range. If I just put that to 50, it's going to change the minimum range to 50 blocks. Of course, set world spawn you know all about already i'm sure and set worth so what the little beauties do we have on this plugin right here we have tpa so if i type in tpa here unfortunately i don't have anybody tpa too i'm going to do it to myself um and that's not going to work however if i was another person i'll be sending a request they'll be getting the request you can then do tpa accept and they'll come over so no need for a tp plugin you've got the choice to delete everything once you've actually made it so if you have created a home you created a jail or a kit or a warp you can delete all of that by simply putting uh, dell home or, you know, delete home, Dell gel, Dell kit. If you want to fly without change game mode, it's going to be a simply fly. So if you do um, fly over here, if I do forward slash fly, it's going to put me off flying. If I go GMS to go to survival and then I do forward slash fly, you can see that I can now fly however I'm in survival. So this is something that you can be added as a perk, maybe a rank or something like that. They've got a pretty nice mail system over here where you can, uh, if you type in mail or forward slash mail, you can clear, you can read, you can send or send all. Let's just go to send. I'm going to send one to myself. And I'm going to put hi. Now, if I go to mail and I go to read, you're going to see that I have one message from me saying hi. There's a few random commands on here, which might just keep you. Um, oh, nice. <laughs> I didn't realize we even had that. So apparently you can just spawn any sort of big tree that you like um, just by doing a big tree. And then you can just find a nice big tree. There you go. Let's start spawning trees in. And then you can start doing that really nice and easily without having to use any other commands or we'll go into creative. Now, like I said before, there is so many commands. We're not going to be able to go through all of these. But as you can see, as I'm scrolling down, feed fireball, you can get the position. You can give obviously the God command, which uh, we wouldn't want getting out there. And now comes some really crucial ones for running a server. Now, let's say, for instance, somebody says they haven't stole something and you're you're not really sure about it. People are discussing it, etc. It's causing a load of grief on your server. What you're going to do is you're going to go to invent C. I'm going to go check my inventory. As you can see, we have an amazing way of just checking the inventory. However, you might be thinking, well, what if they've uh, put it in their ender chest? We're just going to type in ender C. We're going to type the uh, player's name. We're going to press enter and we can check all their ender chest. Yep, that's pretty good for a server. 
everything from nuke to pay. You can check out people's current ping, potions, you can use power tools. So as you can see, this is a super well-rounded off plugin. As I was saying earlier as well, you can do skull and then you can do the player's name to actually collect their head and you can get yourself a little trophy of heads right here. You've got all the TPA commands such as TPA, TPA all, of course you've got the cancel, accept and you can get all these through the essentials uh, permissions website and then just add them to your permissions plugin. One more thing is if you are running multiple worlds, you can do a forward slash world and then actually choose the world and then just simply TP to it. So guys, I hope that has helped. We have many things that we've gone through and many more things that you're probably going to find along the way. However, for a public server, I'm going to recommend this very much, just as much as I recommend Seekerhost Minecraft servers. Hand in hand, you can make yourself a really cool server, keep it protected, give your players awesome starter kits, ranks, and even kitty cannons. I'm sorry, kitty. So thanks for watching, and we'll catch you again next time on the next Minecraft tutorial. Bye-bye.